close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out, and then remember the next breath. You stay with that breath too, and then the next, and then the next. It's important that you don't forget. If you forget, you go wandering off. The mind just does whatever it wants to do, and it doesn't get trained, and it doesn't develop the good qualities it's going to need to depend on itself. Number one quality you need to depend on yourself is your ability to keep something in mind. We go through life and we learn all kinds of lessons, but then if we forget them, it's as if they have no value at all. And we especially tend to forget them when our emotions run high. And there's a lot of greed, a lot of anger, a lot of fear. The good lessons we've learned tend to get thrown out. It's as if we live in a different world entirely. So you've got to learn how to give your mindfulness a good foundation. This is one of the reasons why we work with being mindful of the breath. Because we not only practice the ability to keep something in mind, but we've got it grounded with something that's always going to be with us. Even when there's fear, anger, whatever, the breath is still going to come in and still going to go out. And if you learn how to associate mindfulness with the breath and learn how to associate all the other good lessons you've learned with the breath, then it's a lot easier to remember what you need to know. For instance, with the precepts. We take the precepts, and even though we take them again every week, every week, you're meant to remember them more than just for one week. Try to remember them all the time, especially at times when you're tempted to break them. A strong emotion comes in and you decide that you want to lie or you want to kill something. You have to remember, no, there's a precept. I've taken the precept. And my Long-term welfare and happiness is going to depend on keeping the precepts. Because part of the mind will say, it doesn't matter, there's just this once, it's okay. But the, just this once turns into twice and three times and four and then 16 and 256 and who knows how far it's going to go. Each time you're tempted to break the precept, you have to remind yourself, no, this is my protection. If I can give universal protection to all beings, then I'll get a bit of universal protection as well. If my protection is only partial, in other words, I give it only to a few beings, then I'm going to be only partially protected too. Don't let your immediate desire for a quick fix to some situation get in the way of remembering your long-term welfare and happiness and the things that will lead there. So work on developing your mindfulness. Each time you wander off from the breath, come right back, come right back, come right back. Remember, you're here to get the mind trained. And as you do this, you find that your mindfulness gets able to pierce through a lot of those other worlds that tend to block it out. And remember, the mindfulness is your protection. When the Buddha basically was saying goodbye to the monks three months before he passed away, he said, be an island unto yourself, in other words, a safe place for yourself. He said, you do that by establishing your mindfulness. Establish it right here. So it always is right here. And all the good things you need to remember will be right here as well. That way your protection, your refuge is secure. <laughs>